some from nearby, some from across the country, and some from across the ocean to celebrate their graduates. To the spouses and the roommates and the friends who are here in support of your loved ones, thank you for your ongoing encouragement during this marathon <laughs> that we have all undertaken during the past four or five or six years. I'm sure that for all of you who have helped us to study and watched us panic and seen us go through this program, you have learned more than you wanted to about Shen and spleen and liver and that this day is not only one of pride but also one of immense relief. I want to take a moment while I'm up here to express my extreme gratitude to the people in this community for the unique environment and the experience that is cultivated here. I received another master's before this in another discipline, and I also spent my first two years studying Chinese medicine at another school. So I have been able to compare and gain perspective on exactly what Emperors has to offer and what makes this community so unique. I came here two years ago as a transfer student, as an outsider, and I assumed that I would finish up my degree sitting in the back of the room, not really making friends, and just going to my classes and learning the information to pass the exams. Lo and behold, in my first week here, <laughs> I attended the student retreat at Big Bear. And over the course of one weekend, I had made 70 new friends. And I felt instantly accepted into this community. As the weeks and the months went by, I learned just how unique and how special the people in this school really are. I watched students practicing yoga and qigong and tai chi in the courtyard before class and after lunch breaks, sometimes being joined by Jock or Marsha or David Chan. I saw graduates returning to become supervisors in the clinic, provide tutoring and lead study groups. I saw Dr. Kim, the founder of our school, sitting by the fire Saturday night up at Big Bear, leading students in meditation and sharing bits of wisdom until late into the night. Just a few weeks ago, Zippy Kaufman posted a Facebook picture of Dr. Boo riding a bicycle in the school courtyard. <laughs> and 44 Emperor's students and alumni posted responses expressing their fondness for Dr. Gu. <laughs> so that we may become a part of their healing lineage. After four years spending countless hours in clinic and class, some of those mentors and professors became like family. We love and we respect them for their brilliance, their eccentricities, and the care with which they treat each and every patient in their healing practice. And I have marveled at my fellow students, watching their dedication and their compassion, helping each other out, studying for exams and forming bonds that will keep them grounded and supporting during their time here. These kindnesses, sharing knowledge and experience, approaching your classmate with an open ear and an open heart, this is our sense of community and our sense of family. We must help each other succeed now and when we are in practice because one person's success becomes the entire community's success. And I know that my training as a healer comes first from extending my compassion to my fellow students. Our memories of our time here will be shaped by the culmination of our day-to-day -day struggles and successes. The shoulder massage that you gave your stressed out friend during a 12-hour clinic shift. <laughs> the margaritas you shared with classmates at El Cholo. <laughs> the study groups at Zella and Tetsina. I asked a few of our graduates this weekend what memories they were taking with them from Emperors. Trying to make studying for the mid-curriculum fun by talking in foreign accents. <laughs> Dr. Jean talking at length about sticky foul smells. <laughs> Qigong with Ming Dong Li. Wednesday, brownie day. <laughs> Forgetting to clock in, wearing inappropriate clinic attire, and not documenting your paperwork correctly all ultimately leading to another summons to Robert's office. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled 
Tulane pretending to be foreign exchange students in Paris during East-West medical history. Touring the herb garden with Cormac. Wednesday night clinic shifts. Needling for the first time in class, beginning by needling the chairs. <laughs> Dr. Kim's knuckle bumps and special handshakes. <laughs> Dr. Gu's closed eye meditations during clinic shifts. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe being told that as a pregnant woman, her brain was no longer able to think properly. <laughs> and working at Venice Family Clinic for one semester, and at the end of 12 weeks, having a patient no longer needing to use their cane. Let me assure you, these memories, these kindnesses, this compassion, this humility does not happen everywhere. As I look out at all of us who are graduating here today, I can say it is an honor to have been able to share this space with such kind and compassionate people. Our graduating class, all 20 of us, will bring a variety of life experiences to our future practices. We come from all walks of life, bringing the full spectrum of perspectives to this medicine. We have five guys, which being 25% of us, I think is about the percentage of men overall in the school at large. So Bill, Drew, Neil, Ezekiel, and Michael, thank you for sharing your young energy. <laughs> and for always being the minority gender in every single one of your classes. In our 20, we have students from Europe and from Asia. We have students who've gotten engaged, gotten married, some who have become mothers and fathers during the past four years, and one who has a little one on the way. We have an MD, a PhD, musicians, artists, snowboarders, philosophers, teachers, martial artists, therapists, and a veteran. With all this diversity of life experience, what will we give to the world through our practice of traditional Chinese medicine? What will we add to the field of medicine, to the profession of healing? This is a precarious time in the history of Western medicine and American healthcare. We're entering the field of preventative care as chronic disease, diabetes, allergies, and even cancer are on the rise. The American healthcare system is broken and will not be saved by our ailing economy. Patients are looking for guidance on how to be healthy, how to manage their stress, how to eat, and how to live. We have learned over the past four years the tools to prevent and slow the onset of disease. Our purpose now, as licensed practitioners, will be to utilize these tools to become superior doctors. Sun Sim Yao, the 6th century medicine Buddha and author of the earliest encyclopedia for clinical practice, said, to save a life is your sole aim, idea, purpose, and concern. And our medicine, medicine is the art of the how will we practice with medicine? How will we practice our medicine with mindfulness, ingenuity, integrity, humility, and humanity? In Chinese medicine, we study the emotional states of the organs. When making a diagnosis, we focus on the pathogenic states like anger, anxiety, and fear. <clears throat> but when thinking about promoting health in our patients and within ourselves, we must also consider the natural state of the healthy organs. The natural state of the liver is shaoya, compassion, bringing openness into the body. And the kidney, the will to manifest one's destiny. This natural state of balance within the body is what we want for our patients, but it is also the path that we must cultivate for ourselves. Contentment, peace, <coughs> reflection, compassion, and the will to help others by manifesting our name and our destiny. It is impossible to go through this program and to study this medicine without having to fundamentally alter the fabric of your brain. It doesn't matter why you began. You wanted to stick needles in people, you wanted to heal people, you liked herbs, you had a personal healing experience yourself because you received treatment. There are a myriad of reasons why we were all brought to this place at this time. But ultimately, learning this medicine and taking this journey together <coughs> is a transformative experience. You will not walk out of these doors today the same person you entered four years ago. We will each become a superior doctor. <laughs> this medicine has given us the foundation, the tools, and the understanding by which to begin that process, to delve within ourselves, and to heal our own imbalances, and to understand our own shen. 
does not happen overnight, and it does not happen in just four years. But we have laid our foundation, and that gift given to us by this medicine will be with us to grow and to cultivate for the rest of our lives. Thank you.